Hallå sen och välkomna tillbaka till DLC Fruits of the Literature Club. Förra gången så så kom vi till antar till en ny stad. Det har inte varit så mycket information om var vi har bott förut. Men vi ska börja ett nytt ställe. Och just nu har vi kommit in i ja kan inte ens vi spela som hus. Och nu får, vi se, nu får vi se vad som händer nu. Immediately I am greeted with a short hallway around three steps before the kitchen opens to the right. The kitchen is rather modern and well furnished. I check the fridge and nothing. I chuckle at myself, not knowing what else to expect. The place is finished, but I was just curious. I close the fridge and look out into the living room, which borders it. I take a look into the living room and out the windows. You know me. But how? Och så är det bara jag som bor här. Eller det karaktären eller så. Ja. I look and see if I can see the space directly below the window. I can't. I walk across the room and open a small white door. It leads into a laundry room fit with a washer and dryer. Luxury it will definitely be easier than manually washing and drying my clothes. I close the door and head upstairs. Imme immediately on the left is my bedroom. Eller fel bathroom and across from that is my bedroom. Mix ihop de båda. They seriously did not spare any expense with the de with the decor here in my bedroom is a closet dresser bed desk and several miscellaneous missel items to make it look lived in alltså det här är ju typ ett drömhus och det är verkligen vem som skulle vilja Alltså, hur mycket kan det kosta efter sånt här hus? Säkert jättemycket. Uh, I take a moment to place my backpack on the bed and survey the area from my window. Once I get a good understanding, I walk out of my room. Next to the stairwell is a sliding glass door that leads to the to a balcony. Oh, that's it. That's nice. I walk out onto the medium-sized ce cement balcony. I lean forward on the wall. My forearm supporting me and look out into the neighborhood. I can see some grade school age kids playing with a jungle gym. Why jungle gym? This is socks some off here. Some well found parent per purse. I also see an old man petting his dog in his front yard. Neighborhood watchman here, huh? I look to my left and notice the same girl I saw earlier in her room. I didn't realize I lived so close to her. Through the glass window of her bedroom, I notice her moving around from the left side of the room to the right. She is moving something, most likely a change of clothes. She stops in front of the window, facing to the side. 
She makes a few faces which confirm my in initial theory as correct. She's looking into a mirror. She undoes her red tie, pulls out uh, it out off her grey jacket and starts to unbutton her white undershirt. Yep. I turn away from the view and return inside. Okay. My watch beeps indicating it, it is now 20 p.m. What have an alarm for kvällen? Four more hours until midnight. Normally I would be in bed by now. I am awaiting an important call. From them, you know. It doesn't bother me much then I have gone days before without sleep. So how many? Boosting a few hours for one night isn't going to kill me. Nej, men då kommer vi avstrött på morgonen. I kick my feet up on the opposite side. In the side end of the couch and lean back. I continue to read the book that I have in my hands. I made sure to turn on the news earlier. I got a general idea of the community here. I made it a habit of mine to always check the local news to scout out the area. To see whatever there is high crime, no crime, political activity, the usual. I'm not a big fan of politics, but knowing the local debate helps me understand the people better. Okay. The sound of my phone going off sends a shiver down my spine. It isn't the sound that sends the feeling down my back. It's the reason for it. I answered the phone call. Aha. Får vi inte veta? Six o'clock hits. I am ready. I am already ready for school. For a normal person not used to wearing uniforms, the school's outfit does seem a bit excessive. But since I have been in uniforms all my life, this is nothing to me. I take a look at myself in the mirror for a quick medical check. No wounds or scratches or night. What did you do? I take another drink of water and plan out my day. I will follow my normal school schedule and on my way home I will stop by the grocery store and pick up some food then head home. Once I get home I will go on a run to get me further familiar with the area. And when that is done I will be on free time. I take a last look into the mirror and retrieve my bag. Ja, se om det kommer att hålla. As I reach the gates of the school I notice the congregation of students in the courtyard. They are little groups of students huddled around each other. All, uh, all doing different things, somewhere on the phones, just ignoring each other. Somewhere running around, acting like children. So är många. Det är mer frågan är hur gamla de är. Och som jag tror det är, de där vuxnålen. Så det är ingen. Eh. And somewhere so socializing with each other like normal people. 
I ignore them all. There is isn't a reason for me to talk to any of them. Kanske. Det kan bli vän. Det är inga så lite vänner. With one backpack strapped, wrapped around my shoulder. I enter the large white co concrete building. After a self tour of the school, I reach my first room. Jag tror det skulle egentligen stå room, men vad? I reached my first room. The school itself was then too large. I have definitely been in much larger compounds. It wasn't a problem to find my locker, my first class, and the lunch area. Student passed by me, all casually talking and complaining about everyday things. So, eh, mycket. Finns det många studier om skolan då? I silently laughed to myself about some of the pity things these inexperienced people complain about. It gives me a sense of gratitude for where I have come from. I never complain about my phone having a micro crack. Okay. Or that I didn't get the money to go to the latest movie. Super things like that slightly irritate me. Men det är så det är. The bell rings and I enter the classroom. Third period has ended and it was now. Eh, uh, it was now time for lunch. I noticed that the girl who lives next to me was in my class, and I had overheard several classmates and the teacher called us Siori. Yep. Oh, you obviously have found the one. The name instantly engraved itself into my mind. Why for? With that hesitation, students stood up from their desk and departed. I stand up, stretch quickly, grab my bag, and leave the classroom. I approach my locker and get ready to switch out my books. But before I can even touch my lock, I hear someone grunting. Eh. My head perks up, perks up a little, and I head forwards the sound. It was on the opposite side of my locker. When I turn my head around the corner, for God's sake, turn serious, eller? Okay, wow. Who's <laughs> scared? I see the same. I see that same girl who was in my class and lived right next to me, having trouble with her luck. She seems to genuinely be having a hard time with her luck. Having trouble there, aren't you? I reveal myself from around the corner. <laughs> Det låter så dåligt. Uh, jag har inte gjort det tjejret så. Det här kan vara nytt. You sure you look like you're trying to initiate the release mechanism. But you don't have the right coding. It's hard to do this thing. I walk next to her and touch the lock. What is the combination? <sighs> what? Afraid I am going to steal your textbooks that I happen to have the exact same copies to? <laughs> no, no. Okay, fine. It is nine, two, seven, one, seven. Eller twenty-seven. 
Vet du? Vad tror du var? <laughs> Asper av Deluxe Clicks. There you go. Oh, what? You got it there fast? I am very familiar with these types of locks. I'll show you how to properly orient the combination lock. This is how you unlock this. Thank you. Just so cool, super okay. <laughs> I wave my hand to unlock and turn around. Hey, wait. Hmm. I turn around to look at her. You're the new king yesterday. Yeah, I remember seeing you while I was talking. <sighs> I was talking up yesterday. Ah uh, yes, I remember you too. The name is Philip. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Taka. <laughs> that's what I was. That's what I was given. Anyway, goodbye. Okay, we can do back. I turn away from Sayuri again and return to my locker. Where are you going? I'm going to put away my stuff, then go eat. Don't forget what I showed you. Okay, thank you. Oh, det där är det stycke. Och det här det kommer att vara jobbigt. The final band signifies the end of the school day. I grab my bag and depart down the hallway. As I walk down the hallway, I pass by two girls who were in a debate about something I didn't care too much about to notice. Something about manga. Och jag vet ändå dem. I had a schedule to stick to, so I didn't stick around to pay any attention to the frivolous conversation. As I reach the gate of the school, I hear a voice call after me. Philip! Oh, that's so tired. Yeah. Philip, wait up! I turn around immediately and prepare for someone to sh sh charge me, but I am only, but I am only met with the sight of Siri running to catch up with me. Philip, what do you want? Also, why are you shouting? Ah, oh, that's Katya. Philip, <laughs> you're gonna draw attention as if something bad is happening, woman. Yeah. I had a question for you. A question? If, if it's something I can answer, I guess I you can ask. So I know you are new here and all, and I don't want to overwhelm you. But have you looked into any of the clubs we offer at school? Clubs? Elaborate, please. Yeah. The groups of students who participate in extracurricular activities for fun and to get experience for college. Uh, okay. What is your point of asking me this? Well, I was curious to see if you were your mind. You have a club? Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat the snack. Ah. Uh, the vice president of the leisure club. Leisure club? So you just feed books and write all afternoon? That is a pretty mean and proud way to put it. Well, excuse me, but it doesn't really sound very attention catching. I think I will pass on that proportion for now. Not even if I ask really nicely? No. <laughs> oh, I mean, how specs so Yeah. Ah. I've been called worse. So I'm off. So he flashes a potted face towards me a, a couple of times in an attempt to break my resolve. Unfortunately for her, I am very 
efficient in keeping a straight and pro professional face when needed. <laughs> I can't it can't andas, yes. Very morning, afternoon and evening I always had a friend who would pay our class a fishing and make sure we all were professional. Anyway, I am going home. You enjoy your club. <sighs> okay, bye. I turn away from her and head home. As I watch as I watch the stick on the portable oven grill, I occasionally glance over to the homework I was given. Normally English and social history subjects were a breeze for me. However, math was a different subject. The math I normally used in night is much different than this general principle they teach in school. In short, they are two different ball games. Ball game? Okay. But big gradually I continue to finish the work. Ta talking a few breaks at time uh, to continue to make my meal. I sit there on a on a lean cut of meat cooked medium rare with asparagus and rice. All are high in nutritional value and are very filling. I cook several sticks and prepare different portions of the asparagus and rice for later meals. It's better to prep your food now and eat it late in my opinion. I, I tror jag slutar här. Ah, ja. Syns till nästa episode. Tja